Hello everyone. I wanted to show you what I'm working on. It's a knitted dishcloth. In the I start in one corner. I make it wider than I'm gonna when it's as wide as I want it, then I uh, decrease. And I will show you how I do that in just a moment. All right, I am still increasing. I think I've got 44 going across. I'm going to go to 48. So I go in that first loop, yarn over, pull over that loop I put on my hook, and I pull off. And that's one, two. And to increase, every third stitch, I'm going to yarn over. So that's three, four, five, six. Seven, I am going to continue this row until I get towards the end. Although all I'm doing is picking up one stitch at a time, yarning over the needle, putting that stitch from the left needle in, over the newly made stitch and pulling it off. And this is what I'm gonna be doing all the way across. Okay? And when I'm done, I should have, I think, 35 at the end of this row. This is uh, the continental stitch way of crochet or knitting. I believe there's some people they throw the yarn over the needle and then once they're here I like to hold it with my left hand and put it over that way so this is the way I crochet or I knit I knit hold the yarn as if I were knitting because I learned how to crochet first. A lot of the people who learned how to knit first hold their crochet hook like a knife. But I hold it like a fork because when I learned how to crochet, that's how I learned. So, I will continue this to the end, and I will let you know how many I have. I should have one more than the previous row, because I added one back on the third stitch over here. I just looped it over, and then I did the next stitch. So, I will let you know how this goes as when I'm done with this round row. All right, now I've got 45 stitches all the way across here. To start the next row, I go like this. Yes, and I like using these uh, double-ended crochet hooks with the wire in the middle when I crochet back and forth. That way I'd never lose one of my crochet or my knitting needles. But this is how I start. I'm going to put my right hook under the left hook 
or right needle under the left needle through the yarn. Yarn over, pull that uh, loop on my left hook over the one I just put on my right hook and pull it off. That's one. Two. Yarn over, because that's what I'm doing for the eyelids here. Yarn over in the third stitch, or after the second one. So then I do a yarn over, so that's three, and this is four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I will continue this to the end, and I should have 46 at the end of this row. I'll be back. All right, now I've got 46 across. And this is where I'm going to start decreasing. So that is the biggest I'm making it. Sorry. I just have to... Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I decrease. First, I'm going to chain one. Well... Knit one, that's one knit stitch. Now I'm going to knit two. If I could get it under both these strands. This is kind of difficult, I find. Getting it under both of those at the same time. Yarn over. Pull it through both of those. So that's two. Yarn over. Because that makes the eyelets. And I'm going to knit two again. Alright. So what I did here was when I knit these two, I decreased one. Here I added one, and here I decreased one again. So the first two negate each other, and this one is the one that decreases. So I should have 45 this row, because I had 46 in the last row. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to continue that all the way around or to the end. And I will let you know when I get there how many there are. Okay, hey, I've got 42. Here's 43. 44. And 45. There we go. I've got 45 there. And I'm going to keep decreasing like that until I get down to 4. But let me show you this again. You start the decrease by just knitting under 1. Pull it off. This is knit two together. 
I get under both of those and then I yarn over and I get that one under. So that's knit two together. Now I'm going to yarn over for the eyelet and I'm going to knit two together again. There. So I made the first five into four. Now I'm just going to keep knitting across, all the way across, one at a time. And I should have 44 at the end of this row. And I will come back when I'm done with this row. All right, here I've got 44 stitches. And I'm going to keep working like this until I get down to four stitches. Let me show you the beginning again because each of these rows that you decrease are going to start off this way. Okay. I knit one, the first one. Pull it off. Then I go under two. I knit two together by going under both of them. Yarn over and pull that one new loop out from under the two old loops. So there's two, and then I yarn over for my eyelet, and then I yarn, knit two together again. So I've got four there, and I'm just going to knit all the way across, just like this. Until I get to the end. And I'm going to end this video now. So that you can practice this without me. I cannot keep this going. I will not finish this uh, dishcloth today because I'm just that slow at knitting. So I can't keep this video going until I'm done with the dishcloth. But I hope you get the idea of how to do this. If you need us another tutorial, I can do another one later on when I'm down further. I will show you some more. Okay, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.